Hey guys, it's Roderick here with some big news and announcements. Okay, so originally I said I was only going to be reviewing um, Handmaid's Tale and then I was going to do The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Well, I've kind of decided I'm going to add some shows to the repertoire. So coming up on October 5th, I'm going to start doing Bling Empire, which is currently streaming on Netflix. So I don't know if you all have been watching Bling Empire. Um, I know I said I was weaning myself off a reality television show, but I forgot I do kind of fuck with Bling Empire. Um, I'm going to try to do a re uh, recap from the first two seasons. If I can watch the first two seasons again, kind of refresh my memory, because it was tray messy um, in some certain parts, and then start the review. I'm going to break the review up because Netflix releases all its episodes all at one time. I'm going to break it up into three parts. So kind of over the weekend, I'll do a part one, like the first two episodes, and then the middle part, another few episodes, and then another, then the uh, end of the season. Um, so I'm gonna break it up in three parts that way, so that, that way it's digestible for you and console because a lot of things happening. Hopefully, this season of Bling Empire um, will be good. Um, the past couple of seasons has, it has been really good. I really like this reality show because one, it's dealing with um, Asian people, so I'm always going out for people of color and their representation, and the people on the show are actually very interesting. Um, hopefully, if I can't end up, if I don't end up doing a full recap, I'll just start to review a part one, kind of where, how we got here, where we are, my biases, things I really like, and that type of thing. But I'll, but I'll try to do a recap for that. The next show I'm going to do is going to be Severance. If you are not or what are not watching Severance on Apple Plus, watch Severance. It's only been one season. It is really, really good. One of my friends got me on the show. Um, I'm telling you, you it you it will not disappoint. I'm not going to tell you any premise. What it's about, I think, is great for you to go into a show not knowing anything. Don't read any reviews. Don't read any spoilers. Watch the first season of Severance, and then I'm going to review the second season, which should be out sometime in 2022. So I'm going to do that. Um, then the next show I'm going to do is The Morning Show, which will, which will debut its third season, uh, January 2022, uh, January 2023. And I really, really, really like this show. I go up for Jennifer Aniston. She is kind of constantly epitomizes unproblematic you know, rich white woman tea, and I just like that. And the show is actually really good. So um, those are going to be the new shows I'm going to do coming in the fall. If you all have any other shows or suggestions, please feel free to drop in. And uh, I'll see you this week for The Handmaid's Tale. Okay, thanks, guys.